Albion is a city in Calhoun County in the south-central region of the Lower Peninsula of the U.S. state of Michigan. The population was 8,616 at the 2010 census and is part of the Battle Creek Metropolitan Statistical Area. The earliest English-speaking settlers also referred to this area as the Forks, because it is situated at the confluence of the north and south branches of the Kalamazoo River. The Festival of the Forks has been held annually since 1967 to celebrate Albion's ethnic heritage. Since the 19th century, several major manufacturers gave Albion the reputation of a factory town. This has changed with the closure of several manufacturers. In the 21st century, Albion's culture is changing to that of a college town whose residents have a strong interest in technology and sustainability issues. Albion College is a private liberal arts college with a student population of about 1,250. Albion is a sister city with Noisy La ROI, France. The first European-American settler, Tenny Peabody, arrived in 1833 along with his brother-in-law Charles Blanchard, and another young man named Clark Dowling. Peabody's family followed soon after. In 1835, the Albion Company, a land development company formed by Jesse Crowell, planted a village. Peabody's wife was asked to name the settlement. She considered the name Peabodyville, but Albion was selected instead, after the former residence of Jesse Crowell. Crowell was appointed in 1838 as the first U.S. postmaster here. Dot. Albion incorporated as a village in 1855 and as a city in 1885. In 1835, Methodist settlers established Albion College, which was known by a few other names before 1861. It was then fully authorized to confer four-year degrees on both men and women. The first classes were held in Albion in 1843. The forks of the Kalamazoo River provided power for mills, and Albion quickly became a mill town as well as an agricultural market. A railroad line arrived in 1852, fostering the development of other industries. In 1973 Albion was named an All-America City by the National Civic League. It celebrated winning the award on May 15, 1974, when the governor of Michigan, William Milliken, and many dignitaries came to town. In 1975 the closure of a major factory began a difficult period of industrial restructuring and decline in jobs and population. Since that time citizens have mobilized, founding the Albion Community Foundation in 1968, and the Albion Volunteer Service Organization in the 1980s, with support from Albion College, to address the challenge of diminishing economic opportunity. Albion's historic brick main street, first laid in 1903 and reconstructed with hand-laid, Kiln-fired clay bricks in 1993. Key to the city honor bestowed, Albion has a council-manager form of government. City residents elect a mayor at large and city council members from each of six single-member districts. The council in turn selects a city manager to handle day-to-day affairs of the city. The mayor presides over and is a voting member of the council. Council members are elected to four-year terms, staggered every two years. A mayor is elected every two years. The city levies an income tax of 1% on residents and 0.5% on non-residents. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 4.51 square miles, of which 4.41 square miles is land and 0.10 square miles is water. Albion is position 42. 24 degrees north of the equator and 84. 75 degrees west of the prime meridian. Amtrak The National Passenger Rail System provides daily service to Albion, operating its Wolverine both directions between Chicago, Illinois, and Pontiac, Michigan, via Detroit. Greyhound Lines provides daily intercity city bus service to Albion between Chicago, Illinois, and Detroit. Thanks for watching.